Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to once again dive into the industry of combat, quite specifically to examine some more of the greatest comical attacks in the series. If you haven't seen the first video, I highly recommend watching that before this one, because there were some absolutely brilliant techniques put on display there, so I'll have a link to that in the description. But the criteria for this list is fairly simple. A comical attack is defined as a move or technique performed during, well, combat, but primarily for the purpose of humor, rather than to be actually effective or advance the story. And as per usual, everything on this list must be canon because otherwise the world will quite literally implode. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to another Top 5 Comical Attacks in One Piece. Number 5. Big Emperor. Technically known as Ultimate Tactics Number 15, Big Emperor, this power move features a fusion of a large majority of straw hats in a very classic mecha style. It was developed in an attempt to combat the threat of ores on Thriller Bark, and consists of Frankie acting as the main body of the Emperor, supported by Zoro and Sanji as the legs, Chopper acting as the head, as well as Usopp and Robin completing the Emperor as the arms. Though well, it would have been like that, except Robin refused to participate due to it being far, far too embarrassing. Which is an absolute shame because it means that we will never know the true power of the Big Emperor. But on the bright side, this is one of those extremely rare examples where the anime was actually able to enhance the manga material by constructing a fantastic mecha fusion sequence that was entirely absurd, but still somehow got me really pumped to see the final outcome, which made Robin's swift and sharp dismissal of the form all the more impactful. All in all, Ultimate Tactics number 15 is one of the best comic moments in the series, and the only reason why it isn't higher on this list is due to the technicality of it not really being an attack, maybe. But who cares? It's amazing regardless, and certainly worthy of the opening spot. Number 4. Gomu Gomu no Bo. Here we have a technique whereby Luffy switches off his mind, yes, even more so than usual. Literally meaning Gomu Gomu Dano, and translated as Space Out or Days, this form was created to act as a counter to NL's incredible mind reading Haki Mantra OP crazy ability that left Luffy at the negative end of every engagement. But with the help of Gomu Gomu no Bo, Luffy was able to achieve a state of pure instinct, having been described as a blade of grass swaying in the wind. But of course, one of the best aspects of this attack was the sheer build up. Luffy had a literal light bulb moment, followed by a furious power up like state, and then just this. Sadly, as with most comical attacks, Gomu Gomu no Bo proved fairly ineffectual, owing to the fact that it made Luffy incapable of actually performing an attack, which is kind of detrimental when currently engaged in combat. However, there is one criteria that Gomu Gomu no Bo does satisfy, and that is pure hilarity. Number 3. Cloudy Tempo. You know, it's hard to believe that One Piece went almost 200 chapters before it gave a basic character such as Nami a proper fight. But here we are, and it would be accurate to say that things didn't get off to the best of starts. Due to, how shall we put this, a miscommunication between Nami and Usopp. Nami's new weapon, the Climate Attack, was designed with more of an entertainment purpose in mind, and entertain it certainly did. But there was one quote unquote attack that really stood out from the others, being Cloudy Tempo. The idea behind it is that Nami attaches her three climb attack pieces together, resembling a rifle of sorts, then she would be able to take aim at her opponent and fire a devastating burst of weather at them, thus emerging victorious in most situations. I mean, that or flowers. In this case, it was... it was definitely flowers. Which was not so great for Nami, but fantastic for us as the readers and viewers. I should also say that Cloudy Tempo was part of a series of botched attacks from Nami, and one of the best parts about that sequence was her increasing frustration, as well as her opponent's pure pity towards her efforts. But Cloudy Tempo, at least to me, is the standout of the bunch, brilliantly hyping up our expectations and dashing them with a lovely bouquet of flowers. And you know what? It really is well put together, actually. Some very nicely chosen colours there. It really showed Usopp's talent for gardening at a very, very early stage. Alas, we must put horticulture aside for now and move on with more wonderful comical attacks. Number 2. Gomu Gomu no Mikata Robo. Literally meaning Gomu Gomu no Ally Robo, this is an attack whereby Luffy takes odd advantage of his stretchy stretchy limbs and wraps them around an opponent, preventing them from moving. He then uses his superior strength to control their limbs in any manner that he sees fit. In this case, resulting in a deliberate robotic-like movement. Not only that, but Luffy actually makes robot noises as he moves his opponent, completing the mecha illusion. Now there is one key advantage with this attack, which is that it makes the other opponents far less likely to attack Luffy out of fear of hurting 
being their ally. Hence why this move is called Ally Robo. But with that said, it, uh, d look, it's not an efficient attack, but it certainly is a lot of fun. This sort of thing really just goes to show Luffy's creative comedic side, and it was performed early on in the Ennis Lobby arc, which was when we really needed some nice comedy to alleviate the dark happenings of the series. With that said, the series has experienced darker times, as well as at least one more comical attack. Number one. Frankie Centaur. At today's pinnacle of comical attacks, we have the ever brilliant Frankie displaying a shade of creativity that could only come from a cyborg clad in nothing but speedos. Frankie Centaur is a modified form that allows Frankie to take advantage of all of the benefits of being half horse, half human. Except it's completely backwards, not quite as useful. Nowhere near as useful, actually. And hey, that's kind of why I love it so much. Frankie Centaur manages to double Frankie's available legs by splitting them vertically and uses a rather crude mechanism to push them forward. Why forward, you ask? Well, well, why not? Unlike most comical attacks in the series, Frankie Centaur actually had a bit of an end game goal in that it was able to trap opponents on two separate occasions, allowing Frankie to finish them off as he saw fit. Not only that, but both of these opponents were members of CP9, sort of. So that's some serious power that this bizarre technique was able to overcome. However, in the end, by far the most important aspect of the reverse Centaur form is its pure hilarity spawning from a stellar transformation sequence, as well as the fantastic way that Frankie just owns his own stupidity and harnesses it to maximum advantage. A brilliant all around technique that is certainly worthy of claiming the crown on this list. But that pretty much does it for the top five comical attacks in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy, handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your own favorite comical attacks in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.